<laughs> it's recording, isn't it? Good, right. So, question two. Find the integral of x to the 8 and then 3x dx. No hints as to how you might do it. Um, no limits to put into this. Just five marks for that. <laughs> right. Well, we recognise that this is integration by parts. And it's integration by parts, but we normally remember the, the u bit, we normally think of something that's easy to differentiate, and the other bit is something that isn't too bad to integrate. But this time, whenever it's a natural log thing, we have to make that the one we're differentiating. So we have to make ln 3x our u, and x to the 8 the db by the x bit. Now this is where lots of us made mistakes. If we differentiate ln 3x, then there are a couple of ways of thinking about this, but however we do it, we have to end up with mu by the x being 1 over x. It's not 1 over 3x. It is 3 over 3x. You can think about it like that, because you can think about it as a chain rule thing. It's the natural log of something and the something is 3x. So it would be natural log of something is 1 over the something, and differentiate the 3x and we get 3. So you could write it as 3 over 3x, and then cancel the 3s. Or you could think about it as being natural log of 3 plus natural log of x, because that's also what it is. And if you differentiate a number, you get 0. So all you're actually differentiating here is the natural log of x, which gives you 1 over x. So that was a crucial point. Lots of you lost marks straight away by having 1 over 3x. That's that bit. If we integrate x to the 8, add 1 to the power, and divide by the new power, we get x to the 9 over 9. Now we put this together. Integration by parts says u times v. So that's x over 9. That's the 9 over 9 times natural over 3x minus the integral of v du by dx. I'm going to write more details in this one. So we notice what happens here. We've got x to the 9 over 9 natural log of 3x. And we're, we're taking away the integral, cancel out the x. So it's the integral of x to the 8 over 9 which if we integrate that, this is x to the 9 over 9 ln 3x minus x to the 9 over 81, because we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, plus c. You could at this point take out a common factor of x to the 9 over 9, and write it, or x to the 9 over 81, you can be nicer, but you didn't have to, so you could leave it like that. And that would get you all five marks. So it went wrong for lots of people right at the start by putting 1 over 3x instead of 1 over x. So watch out for that.